And happening now, millions of Americans are gearing up for an Arctic blast that could bring the lowest temperatures in more than two decades. It's happening all across the Midwest and the Northeast. Forecasters are predicting a dip in the polar vortex, which will cause those temperatures to drop so low it brings the risk of hypothermia and frostbite. I have on three sweatshirts under here and two t-shirts, and then I'm wearing three pair of thermals. So, you know, you got to be prepared when you get out here. We've seen an increase in about uh, 15 to 20 calls a day. Very cold. The winter weather is already doing all kinds of damage on the roads, causing whiteout conditions and accidents. With the wind chill, parts of the country could see temperatures as low as 45 degrees below zero. That is just not right. <laughs> it not is right. not right. When you see those temperatures like that, Oh boy, huh. it's Tears like here in, in June when we're at 115. This is gonna look, it's just yeah. ridiculous on the other end. Of the I scale. would take the heat over the cold any day. I've lived in both and those temperatures. Nothing to yeah. uh, nothing to take lightly. Let's take a look right now at the current conditions up there in the northeast. They're actually seeing some snow move across the area right now. Inches, half a foot possible there throughout parts of the Chicago Metro all the way up through North Dakota. And it's going to continue to move off to the northeast. Then behind it, that's when those temperatures going to be plunging. This is the forecasted uh, temperatures for 6 a.m. on Wednesday. So Wednesday mornings temperatures well below zero, 26 below zero in Minneapolis, 31 below zero in Minot, North Dakota. That's where I'm from. Very, very cold. That's not even factoring in the wind chill. Those wind chills going to be well below zero, 45 degrees below zero. The wind chill warning in effect there, wind chill advisory and wind chill watches. This is in effect tonight through Thursday morning. So if you've got family up there or if you yourself are heading up there, I hope you're ready for it here at home though. Look at this 70s are expected here throughout the week. Not a whole lot of change in our weather as the rest of the country deals with that Arctic blast. We are going to though be seeing some rain chances come into play here late this week and into the weekend. Finally, it's been dry. So taking a look at those rain chances, we do have a cold front that's pushing through here today into tomorrow, bringing a little bit more cloud cover. Also breezy conditions, then the rain. This low pressure system and cold front going to be pushing through overnight Thursday into Friday, bringing us our first chance for rain. Quiet there Friday afternoon into Saturday morning. Then again, Saturday night into Sunday. Widespread rain chances and high elevation snow are possible. Now timing with those going to be changing as we're still several days out, but definitely might be time to get, to get those umbrellas out. Here's a look at your seven day forecast, guys. 73 degrees today. A little breezy there for you Tuesday.